So we have to have a very well-educated workforce. And to do that, it's just not the billboards on the road or the flyers that you pass out at lunchtime. We have to have people to come in and have training sessions. We also have education for both our employees as well as our supervisors. Our employee training includes information about how they themselves can be substance free, but also, in my opinion, equally or maybe more important, how they can be a resource to friends, family, neighbors who are in situations where they may have someone at risk to either become abusive or addicted to any of the substances we talk about. And we have our employees who are knowledgeable about where helping resources are to keep the conversation going throughout the year, not just during those education events. We take and carve out a piece of every single uh, annual training program for employees and really key on something important or urgent about what's happening out there in the community. So we've done a variety of different things. Uh, two years ago, we got a chance to really put out there to our airwaves the Start Talking Ohio initiative so parents can be educated about what their kids face and both the pain and suffering that many of those parents have had to go through as well as early warning signs that they missed and the consequences in their families of uh, losing kids and loss can be in, in a variety of ways. Uh, one year we had a panel presentation because a lot of people said, well, I don't know what drug treatment could be. So we brought uh, a panel in and they spoke for 15 or 20 minutes about what their unique resource in their communities could bring to families and neighbors and friends who may be facing this most difficult challenge. I think there was a lot of eyes opened up about the significance. Um, I know one of the things that really stood out was about marijuana and that the marijuana that our parents were smoking back in the, the 60s was not as potent as what is going uh, through our system now and that it's 10 times as much. And so I think that was a real eye opener to a lot of people. The cost of um, bringing the employees in it's, 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 it's the cost of doing business. We have to furnish safety glasses, and we have to have hard hats, and we have to make sure that they have seat belts on in the trucks. Um, it's part of the safety culture of the company. At the end of the day, if we can avoid uh, an incident because of a person that might be coming to work impaired, um, it's worth it because it can, that can be millions of dollars. I think one of the most useful classes was just in the last few years when Jim Ryan came. And I specifically asked him to speak about alcohol because, as I said, I know it's the drug of choice at Spillman. And I'd never, I'd never really understood before that alcoholism, with, with the more you consume, the more your body tolerates the alcohol. Alcohol is really an illness. I think I'd heard it before, but you and Karen explained it so clearly that it's an illness. And drugs really are the same. We, we make mistakes, we shoot up, we drink too much, and it becomes a pleasurable habit, and then it becomes an addiction. And it's something that, without help, most people can't fight. Without all of you, we wouldn't be the healthy organization we are today. It's amazing to me, um, you know, having done this for 15 years, where, you know, you send out those invites and you're like, okay, it's time for substance-free workplace training. And people are like, oh, here we go again. They don't do that now, but they kind of get jazzed because they realize, oh, it's going to be a different topic. What are we learning about this year, Angie? As long as you keep it engaging and realize what's happening, it's a serious subject, but people start to respect and understand why, what, what's the methodology behind 
putting this policy in place. It's not to, you know, impede their or invade their personal privacy. It's really you're doing it because you care about them and you're trying to make them better and even provide them information for their kids. I mean, there's all sorts of things that they learn and they take and go back and like, wow, I mean, I didn't realize that that was an option for me with my kids to sign up for this, these email alerts, or I didn't know that that, that, that drug um, was going by that name, or if my kid texted this, that I need to be worried. I mean, they just, they don't know, and I, I can't tell you how many times we, we always walk out of those training classes going, huh, I guess that's, that's, that's about this time, and you can apply it not only professionally, but in your personal life as well. I think with the training, the employees were able to help identify not only problems that may occur at work, but they could also look to their children or their grandchildren to see if they have a problem. I don't think people know that the services are out there. I just don't think that they're aware of it. With the training that we give our employees, um, if they have a child or if they have someone else in their family that has an issue like this, they have a resource, they know of a resource that they can go to.